Hey, Yohan, thank you for joining me today. Uh, so, Yohan, tell me a little bit about what you do and for how long you've been doing it. So uh, I guess I'll start at the beginning. Um, I used to play League of Legends competitively um, back in the day before uh, the big Twitch explosion and esports explosion. It's more in the early kind of 2012, 2015 range. Um, I then transitioned away from being an athlete and uh, more to the administrative side of the industry. And in 2016, uh, we started the company in South Africa, focusing on the development of the next generation of eSport athletes um, through what we created was a, a STEM education and uh, long-term athlete development sports education model. Um, since then, we've expanded into multiple other regions and expanded our services and products. We now operate in Southern Africa, um, at the Gulf region, the USA and Australia. Um, primarily to the business, we have three pillars of services in the company. Today, it's uh, the first is obviously esports education, which is our primary uh, focus with all of the academies. Then the second is production events and support services, everything from running the event, um, either virtually or physically, merchandising, all that kind of stuff. Um, and the third is consultancy and strategic advisory, which is mostly focused on helping governments and big corporate understand and structure their involvement within the industry. Awesome, awesome. So what is your goal long-term? Where do you want to take the company? <laughs> long-term, uh, you know, we're aiming to be well represented on every continent and uh, help elevate and equip the next generation of esport athletes, entrepreneurs, everyone wishing to really play their part in the industry with the knowledge, skills, and tools to um, better perform in their chosen roles um, and help build the industry to the next heights. Awesome. Awesome. So you touched on it a little bit there, but, but who exactly is your target market? Who are you aiming to help? Uh, for our education, we mostly focus on the scholastic esports demographic, um, but also the collegiate and premise premier um, scenes to smaller degrees. Um, and then of course, for the corporate sectors and governments with our consultancy and strategic advisory. Awesome. Awesome. So you've been in business for a little while now. So what is one mistake you've made or a lesson that you've learned in the process that other business owners could learn from? I'd say for us, we worked really hard to perfect products and services before piloting it in the real world. Um, nothing beats the feedback of field testing something. Nowadays, we tend to pilot products and services a lot earlier, um, review the feedback, tweak things from there. You know, as the old saying goes, the client is always right. Yeah, get, get that feedback earlier in the process. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So have you had a great coach or mentor in your life? And if so, why were they so great? It's uh, quite difficult to point out a single name. Um, I've been extremely fortunate to have a lot of experienced mentors in various fields that have contributed to not only my own personal growth, um, but also the business. Um, I'd say to name a few, um, the first one was probably Colin Webster. He's an attorney and has decades of experience in sports administration. So in a transition from being a player, he was really uh, someone that helped me learn the inner workings of sport and how the administration of sport impacts the industry. Um, my brother started accountant, you know, can't have a business without one of those. Um, he spent hundreds of hours helping me craft models and basically taught me all the ins and outs regarding you know, finances, and business optimization, all that kind of type of stuff um, before I, you know, eventually went and uh, delved a little deeper and got to more than the fundamentals myself. Um, David Jens in the UAE uh, is a great friend, mentor, um, helped me guide the whole world of politics and government in a working. So I've been extremely fortunate. There's many more, but um, I've been extremely fortunate with the people that have helped us along the way. Yeah, it sounds like you've had some great support. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about what the future looks like for, for the company as you try and take it worldwide. What are some challenges you foresee? Well, I think in esports, you know, both the future and the challenges are both quite uncertain. Um, for instance, uh, I mentioned Twitch earlier. Um, today, you know, especially since about 2017 streaming and, you know, gaming influences, that old culture is a massive part of esports and gaming. Um, and Twitch changed the entire industry in a major way and it only launched a little over 10 years ago in uh, 2011 I believe and uh, you know there's Fortnite which was only five years ago and that's become a whole global phenomenon um, 
so it's a really hard industry to predict. All the indicators point towards continued growth, but what exactly the industry will look like five to 10, 15 years from now, I don't think anyone can really accurately predict that with esports. Um, I think it's more important to stay engaged and up to date on what's happening and do short term modeling rather than long term in esports. Um, adaptability is the key as the industry is still very dynamic in its evolution and trends. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like uh, that's an industry that you often see a lot of disruptors come into the market and, and really shift how everything is happening. Yeah. And, and a lot of the time, if you're not paying attention, you won't notice that until about a year down the line. Um, and then you're behind the curb. So it's very important to stay up to date and remain adaptable. Um, you know, if there's a new niche, you need to at least carefully consider it, if not follow it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what would you recommend to a young person that is starting a business for the first time in the world today? Learn as much as you can about business and your industry. Um, find multiple mentors uh, with skills and achievements that you want to mirror in your own journey. Um, they'll be absolutely invaluable to you. Stick with it. Don't give up. It's really, you know, if it's not working out the way you planned or it's not kind of going the way that you want it, take an honest look at it find out how to turn around, you know, most importantly, I think, is pick something that you're passionate about. Chances are you'll be in for some long nights and sacrifices along the way. So it'll make it a lot more, a lot easier um, if you enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it'll make the whole journey that much more pleasant if you're passionate about it. Yeah, it's definitely a long journey. So ha having that passion to stay dedicated, I think is very important. I agree with that. Awesome. Well, so Yo Johan, how can people learn more about you and the business? What's the best place to find you? Um, so we have a website, usesports.academy, um, or they can email us at info at usesports.academy. We're currently rolling out a ton of new after-school programs in the US, along with other types of programs, camps, team-based coaching. Um, so if you're a parent or, you know, with children who play games or an aspiring young esports athlete or an educator who wants to have trialed and tested esports program at their school, reach out to us and let's start that conversation on your esports journey and create that perfect program for you. Perfect. And I'll link all those contact details in the description so people can find it easily. And then my last question for you today is what most inspires you as you continue to grow the business today? I think for me, it's it's the industry and the people within it. It's still very, very community focused. And most people are very eager to help and guide you. Um, chances are, if you reach out to someone, whether it's on LinkedIn or at a conference or at an event, they're more than willing to have a conversation with you and take it from there. Um, I've created so many great memories and met so many good people along the way. I'm constantly excited about what the future might hold for the industry and also being there to see it unfold. Great, great. Well, Johan, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you.